All right, guys, welcome to Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and in today's video, we're gonna be showing the MC3 Legend stock by McMillan, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so first let's get some uh, big news out of the way. My daughter was born November 17th. Her name's Mia Harper, and you'll see a picture right below. That's why I haven't been able to post a video the last couple months. I've been busy with, one, her. She takes up a lot of my time. She's a newborn, and I love spending time with her uh, every time I'm home. Also, I have a new job that is about a two hour drive daily uh, to and from home. So it's four hours that I spend driving and then I work for 10, 11 hours and I drive home. So just time has become very, very limited onto what I can do when it comes to making videos. My new job, I love it though, I am the uh, Chief Operating Officer of Burnproof Gear. If you haven't heard what Burnproof Gear is, we make suppressor covers, this is one of our prototype Mirage covers because it has, um, it's not full auto rated, this is strictly just for bolt guns and uh, precision rifles. We have full auto rated suppressor covers that are made fully of uh, uh, Kevlar and those type of fire retardant materials. Uh, but other than that, this is not about that, but if uh, I'll put a promo code below, you guys save some money. Uh, so let's talk about the interesting part of this stock. Uh, the interesting part is one of the material it's made from. It's made from a material called xenolite. Uh, it's never been used to make stocks before. Um, when I did a little bit of Google research, the only thing that comes up when you click xenolite is uh, the aprons that are used for the lead or for the uh, x-ray machines. Uh, I've been told is not that material, but very similar. It's a different, it's basically that material mixed in with other materials to make a different uh, consistency of that same material. Uh, but that being said, this is a very, very, very stiff, rigid stock. I honestly don't feel the difference between uh, this while shooting. I don't feel the difference between this and a fiberglass stock. Uh, I don't see any accuracy difference. Uh, that's pretty much how that goes. 
What I do like about it is the price. Guys, this stock right here, as it comes with the bottom metal, it doesn't come with this metal magazine, it comes with the polymer mag uh, from MDT. But this stock is right at like 480, 489, 490, and that's MSRP. I'm sure if you go to Optics Planet or Brownells or Midwest USA or any of those uh, online retailers, you could find it slightly cheaper. Um, so we're gonna start on the back side and just work our way through the features of the stock. I like to do these, uh, I don't like to do these type of videos of you know, kind of walking through the stuff that you guys can just go and look online. But I get it, some people are like me and we don't like to read. We just like to go watch YouTube videos and let somebody else do all the research and tell me about it. So, uh, that being said, on the back, it comes with a rubberized pad for uh, recoil. Um, forgot what it's called, it starts with a P. I can't think of the name now, I'm sorry guys. Um, but it comes with a nice a nice pad, nice rubberized pad. It comes with, this one came with six spacers um, that make it anywhere, I believe, from the length of pull from 13.5 to about 14 and a half, maybe. Each spacer is about a quarter of an inch, so you have a little bit of range to, uh, of play there, or you can take it all off and put it all the way there. It has an adjustable uh, cheek, Piece, so you can get your correct uh, uh, scope level so you can pretty much set it to your to your um, to your eye everything's perfect yeah I like this little cutout here and this where it transitions to this area right here it is a perfect thumb shelf there um, you know to put your thumb you don't have to wrap it around like the old days you know it has that little area for it it has a nice vertical uh, pistol grip style uh, to kind of uh, interface with the uh, with the uh, stock it also has very nice rough well not rough but I would say medium grade um, texturing kind of like stippling um, type and you know what this stock is a, a type of polymer so you can potentially do your own stippling on it uh, if that's something you're into um, but yeah, so it comes with a very nice texture on the grip area and on the foreign. Okay, another cool thing about the stock besides one, the material it's used for, because I'm a little bit of geek and I like, I like companies that push the envelopes. Uh, two, the price, right? The price is pretty much, you're not gonna get anything of this quality uh, with these features for this price. And two, I'm sorry, and three, it's going to be the polymer bottom metal yes guys i said it it is 100 percent polymer except for the latch area where it actually uh, locks into the mag everything else is polymer here um it works perfect with all different types of magazines uh this is the metal mag uh, i've tried it with uh, the polymer mdt which is the one it comes with uh, this is the metal mdt i've also tried it with an accurate mag i've tried it with um the Magpul uh, AICS polymer magazine. So it is a great, it's great, it locks in, fits in perfectly, no issues there. Uh, as you work forward of that, it comes, it doesn't come with this pick rail. This is something I added um, on, but it does come with the two uh, sling studs right there. And it has an extra little uh, place to attach another sling stud or something of that, set, of that nature. We're going to be adding some features kind of get, uh, to gamer this uh, rifle up, maybe for some PRS or NRL type style uh, comps. Uh, from there, uh, yeah, the stock is really rigid. It's just on a regular Remington 700, stock Remington 700 uh, tactical AD, uh, what was it, uh, varmint barrel type setup for a 308. Uh, uh, things that I, don't make sense to me on this uh, stock is on the front you have swivel studs right you have two swivel studs but on the back they put up a, a, a cutie flush cup i would have liked to seen some flush cups in the front yeah i would have definitely liked to see some flush cups in the front because let's be honest guys swings swings uh 
nobody's really using that uh, anymore. Even, I mean, unless you're gonna go completely traditional and I mean, again, I'm nostalgic, so I would like to see that. Um, if you go with a standard Harris on the swivel stud and then connect a nice leather um, sling, that'll be perfect. But again, you can't do that because it comes with a QD on the back. So I would like to see a QDs in the front upgraded. So from that, let's go over some of the, some, I, I guess you'd call it um, the, the, just the specs on it. Um, the weight, these stocks are a little bit on the heavy side, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this one is a lighter model because it's Lena light, but it also has strands of carbon, so it makes it a lot lighter. Um, this one comes in as is 57 ounces. I weighed the stock, it's about four and a half-ish pounds uh, without the action. The action is another this about five pounds. So this rifle comes in around 11, 12 pounds as it sits right there. Um, the overall length of it is 30.75, so uh, uh, 30 inch length. The foreign is two and a half, uh, 2.1 inches across. What I like about it, guys, is it's completely, I mean, it has a little bit, but nothing you can't really hit with a little light sandpaper and uh, make it even straighter for, to attach uh, what I'm planning on doing is the Arca rail. It's got a little lip here, which I might have to hit that and kind of smooth it out so I can put the 14 inch Area 419 Arca rail on there. But yeah, that's one of the upgrades that's gonna be done to this rifle pretty soon. Um, of course, so that's that's all the spec stuff on it, guys. That, I mean, the real important stuff. Oh, it also has Sorry, it also has aluminum pillars molded in, which is pretty good. I was told you don't really need them with this material, but again, like other companies, it's become a, I guess a standard. Um, if you don't have them in there, people tend to shy away from it. Um, so the upgrades, of course, like I said, I was gonna do the Arca rail. I might, <clears throat> I might uh, bed the recoil lug area. I, you don't have to, but I just want to see if I get any difference. I've never done it before, so I want to try that out and see if I can get that done. Um, let's see. All right, so actions that it comes with. All right, right now it's only for Remington 700 um, footprinted actions. So actions like, of course, the Remington 700, Defiance, Bighorn, Seekins, Precision, Kirby, Stiller, Long Peak, and True Bro. I don't. Know, that's what it said on the website, guys. If, uh, I'll put a link to the website below so you can get all this stuff. All right, so pricing, they come in different models, different variations of this stock, which is the MC3 Legend. This is the Deluxe Plus Black Carbon Fiber. It only comes in black. The standard only come in OD and tan. Those guys are a little bit heavier. Uh, let me look at my notes here. They come in at uh, right about 73-ish to 75 pounds, depending on if you get the one with the non-bond metal, is about 350, and the one with the bottom metal, exactly how you see it here with the bottom metal, is 399. So 400 bucks, guys, for stock and bottom metal, that's unheard of. That's, people spend that much just on the bottom metal itself for some places. Um, so I'm gonna put this rifle through the paces right now. I got about, about 100 rounds through it. So far, my initial impressions are it shoots great. It feels nice and rigid. I don't have any flex where I did, you know, where you get with the with the factory uh, stocks where they get that flex because <clears throat> uh, this stock is completely homogenous or there's no air bubbles, there's no cavity the way it's molded. It's all one solid piece. Where if you look at uh, factory stocks or other stocks, they have on the barrel channel they have the like little cutouts, little little sections that have been cut out with little braces or so. And that's because you can't really put on that material that they use for the factory stocks that heavy. So the nylon six or nylon 66, which is what they normally use, they might even use some polycarbonate. Um, they tend to not do well under very thick. So that's why you get that flex or you can move, move it around. This gets nothing. It's ridiculously stiff. 
The only thing that you do get that feels a little different, and I don't really see it as a negative. It's just uh, you don't get that you get it, it, you get that plastic feel, right? So when you grab it, it just feels like you're grabbing plastic. It doesn't feel like you're grabbing a fiberglass um, or things like that. I was also told that these are available in if you contact them, you can get them to paint it in any McMillan paint scheme. That's what I was told. So. That's cool. I'm going to try to see if I can get this one in black multicam uh, later on and see what's going on with that. So let's talk about how you adjust the buck piece. That's another negative that I'll go over. Um, I mean, I would, would have liked to see some quick detach, but it is what it is. At least they give you the option for the price point. You can't complain too much. Okay. And I also don't know why it was designed that way. Maybe there's just a way of doing it and I don't have a problem with it. It works well for me, um, but basically this rifle could be set one time for you and if you need to change it or anything, you need to loosen up the two screws in the butt pad, which interesting enough is the same screws that come, this, oops, sorry, the same pattern as, or the same Allen key as the one for your action screws, which it does come with action screws, by the way guys, it does come with the, the action screws, so you don't have to worry about using your factory action screws and things like that, okay? so. On the stock, you use, there's two uh, bolts, you use the same Allen um, bit or whatever as that, you loosen this up, at that point you can add or remove spacers if you need to, you could also adjust this up or down. Also, it has a cutout here, so if you need to remove, you see it's not even close to it, but if you need to remove your bolt for cleaning or, or anything, it's perfectly there. You don't need you don't need a side folder, or you don't even need to lower it or nothing like that. I know some of the other actions are a little bit longer, like I think the Kirby's or Defiance might go a little bit further back, but this is perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with it. Um, on that sense, I like this little cutout here, this little bag rider. Um, so again, guys, this is this is one of those this is one of those stocks that I've been wanting to do a build like this forever because ever since I was a little kid, my favorite favorite rifle or my favorite aesthetically looking rifle was a m40 a3 or m40 a5 i know that i'm gonna get some of the hardcore fanatics and you're gonna be like well that's not correct and it's not a clone correct i don't care it has the same features it has that same appeal the same look same feel as those rifles that's why i don't even put a tactical bolt knob because they didn't even have it so that's what i like to use and it kind of has that feel for less of the price. So if I had to price this rifle out, this is probably the cheapest gamer PRS slash precision rifle I've ever built. Um, we did the, the budget precision rifle uh, build not that long ago. You guys can check out that video that I put this same action in a MDT chassis when we parted it all out. It was like good to 27, 2500 bucks. This one, you're looking, let's say 500 bucks for that, 500 bucks for the action, uh, another six, 700 bucks for the stock, you're looking at like 1,700 bucks for this setup right here, without the suppressor, of course, none of that, this stuff. Uh, but that's something you can go out to the range and have fun for, I mean, 1,000 bucks for the rifle. I mean, this stock, I'm surprised Remington should offer this stock from factory. They really should. I mean, they offer that ugly uh, hog overmold green stuff that comes with the AC or the the, the uh, ACC, whatever the crap that is. Yeah, that that stock is completely crap. I mean, it's not even worth anything. They should really team up with McMillan and offer these as a factory package. This is a great a great option. And if they did that, guys, if they were to do that, this could be part of the PRS production. Um, production uh, division. I mean, as it is right now, it sucks. It's not because I built it, so it can't be. Um, but other than that, or maybe McMillan can go back to building rifles and maybe they'll build some setup like this for production. Yeah, it's a really interesting. I give it a nine out of 10. Uh, there's room for improvement. So there's always room for improvement in any product. There's always room for improvement, even in our products that we make here. Um, always room for improvement. The problem is, is the improvement worth the cost and is the consumer gonna pay that cost? Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great uh, holiday season. Uh, Happy New Year's. 
if I don't make another video before then. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you at the range and I'll be at SHOT Show with Hollow Sun like I do every year. So if you guys are in Vegas, hit me up on Instagram at 318bolo and I'll let you know where I'm at. Uh, maybe we'll meet up at Circle Bar. And we normally go there at the, uh, at the end of the show sometimes and just hang out with some of the industry guys. So if you guys are gonna be at SHOT Show, hit me up. I'll be at the Hollow Sun booth. I don't know the booth numbers yet, but I, I, I am going, I already have my plane ticket and everything else, I already talked to the guys at Hollow Sun. So a lot of cool things coming out from there. So we'll, we'll see that. I wanna do a huge thanks to Team uh, POI. Um, Cole and uh, all these guys over there are, we're gonna do some partnering up because I really don't have the time to uh, contact these companies to try to get stuff for T&E and stuff like that. I don't have the time right now. Between matches, home and work, it's insane. And I really appreciate you guys watching. For the 95% of you guys that aren't subscribed, that watch my videos, please subscribe. Not like you guys get it, make it this far anyways. Uh, but if you did, please subscribe, uh, comment. I answer all my comments. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys, and have a wonderful rest of 2019. Laters.